Neymar. Messi sticks to his feet like glue. And Lionel Messi. Wow. That was incredible. I just watched the first half of Manchester United vs AC Milan. Next VR really surprised me. The way that it works is next VR have set up seven cameras around a football field. One at the sideline of center field and three at each end behind the goals. And each of those cameras is stereoscopic 180. Now I was surprised, the 180 degree field of view is perfect for sport because of course there's no need to look behind you. And really you can see right up the sideline all the way to either end. The best parts are when players walk right up to the camera. At one point, somebody kicked the ball and it flew past me like this and I reached out to grab it. The only thing that really broke immersion for me was a strange scale issue, which I think affects lots of 360 and 180 degree videos, where people seem smaller than they would in real life. Now, I had assumed that Next VR was some small, struggling sports startup, so I was really surprised to see just how high the production value of these games and the replays they put together are. You've got a screen floating right above you, which is really good for when the ball is across the field and hard to see, and sometimes shows replays. They've got replays even in VR so that if there's a goal scored, I can see that goal again, except now I know exactly where the ball's coming. And each replay is a slightly different experience as I sort of move my head to pay attention to different things. And if I spin right around, well, instead of just having a black void behind me, there's really high quality 3D imagery. You've got the team logos and shields, there's trophies, flags, it's just extremely high production value. The stereo audio was used to great effect. It was great having one commentator on this side and one commentator on this side. And of course, the crowds in the background cheering and singing. It really did put me right there on the side. Neymar, assistance might pay off. It does. Oh, it's not been given. Now, stereoscopic 3D works best, of course, when you've got a wide range of depth. And so when you're behind the nets, it's, it looks incredible because you've got the netting there and the keeper in front of that and the defenders and you can see all the way to the other side of the field. I also watched a boxing match where I was right on the corner of the ring, right next to the coach and the players moving around the ring and the stereoscopic 3D was just incredible at this. Back to the football, although I was really surprised at how good quality, how high resolution it was, there were times when some of the players further away were a little bit blurry. It was hard to make out when the action was sort of happening over there. But if you can double the resolution somehow, obviously I have to have a headset that supports it. And if you can make that live, you've turned me into a sports fan. Even if sports aren't necessarily quite your thing, I highly recommend jumping in. A really good stepping in point is just the live action replays that they've got. They're great to experience up close and it really feels like you're there in person. Can you imagine if this was somehow one day volumetric and I could be there with my vibe, moving my head about to get different angles? Thanks for watching. My next review will be the Isle of Dogs behind the scenes 360 short that everyone's raving about. If you want to support my channel, then please subscribe, like this video. See you next time.